Hey you guys, Tips and Tricks Tuesday. I'm coming to you from a gas station. <laughs> High tech. Anyways, first and foremost, I have a Prius. I've had a Prius for two and a half years now. And I am driving my husband's car today because we're going, um, we just traded cars this week. And so I have my old minivan and um, holy shit, that was uh, 68 bucks and it wasn't even completely full. It says full in here though, but oh my gosh, that's 65, 70 bucks to fill this sucker. I can't believe I used to do this drive all the time with this car. My Prius is 30 bucks on a bad day. So anyways, to Tips and Tricks Tuesday, I... <laughs> It's comedy, these magnetic lashes. So I had bought some and was going to do them sooner and realized my sisters and I kind of played with them and they were terrible. And I realized that we actually had the wrong ones. We had accent. So the, the lashes are by Ardell. These, there's several kinds. There's super expensive ones that are like 20 bucks and, or 70 bucks or something like that. These are 12, 13 bucks. Um, I can't see who's on here it does that. I don't know what happened. Hello, whoever's watching. Um, but these lashes, these are the Ardell magnetic lashes. So these are a full length one. So I thought, sweet, let's try it. I'm not shitting you. I spent probably an hour and a half today trying to get these damn things on. And you can see I have them on now. You can see like the lash. I take it off, but I kind of want to leave them on for a little bit. Although I will say this, I kind of have a little headache a little bit and I don't know if it's because it took me so damn long to get them on or if the magnets are weird that was a question my sisters and I had was with the magnets is that safe to have near your eyeball you know like on occasion of course but once in a while but you can see I don't know I can't see but they were hard hi Deidre Ray we're talking about the magnetic lashes your mom and I laughed our butts off on these but so what I did is I tried all these tricks so I took these first they were really long so I took one of them and I cut it into three pieces hi Monica into three pieces because I know the super fancy expensive lashes what they do is they actually come in individuals so the problem I was having with these lashes is that I would put them on and they're magnetic so I would put the top on first I'm old so I have to like look down and balance the lash on there as I'm trying to get the other one but as you get closer it jumps on because it's a magnet so they <laughs> on but it gets in the middle and then this part is stuck out you know this far out on your lash and it's straight they're not curved so I broke them up in little pieces and tried to do like the outside the outside and the inside and that was just a shit show and they kept jumping onto other spots and you know, I kept losing them but then they were magnetically stuck to it it was hilarious I should have been filming that my client and I were laughing our butts off and then tonight I was like I'm gonna try it again so trying it again I ended up cutting these into a smaller weft because these were pretty long and I thought well maybe they're just too long for my eyes so I cut it in a third I cut this there's four magnets on there so I cut one of the magnets off I think I got them backwards, upside down, everything, but finally got them on. So, um, at first I thought they looked ridiculous, but now that I've had them on a little bit, I'm like, oh my gosh, I kinda, I can see where people get hooked on them. So, my tips and tricks is, um, you gotta practice like nobody's business. They are not as easy as it looks like. You see the commercials, you see the tutorials, you're like, sweet, I'm gonna get those. They've been all over Facebook, no go. Those suckers. I guess at an hour and a half at least. So I went back, so I picked up a few items. I'm grabbing them real quick. I should have had them prepared. So I went to CVS and I got these. These are the self-adhesive. I've done these before. I like these. So these are the self-adhesive ones by Ardell. And those, like when I was trying to do both magnets, the self-adhesive ones, I'm like, oh, that would be so much easier. And then I found this little, not that doohickey. There was a little toy from Ardell, this guy. And it's actually an applicator for the self-adhesive. So I'm going to try those and give you guys the feedback. I got some more magnetic ones since I completely thrashed these and cut them in little pieces trying to figure out how to do it. So I'm going to play with these some more. And I'm going to get back to you guys with more details on the lashes. So that is my tip and trick Tuesday. Magnetic lashes, not nearly as easy as it looks on TV. But those girls must practice forever or 
They've got some special something something. But I thought this would be cool. How cool would it be if there was some kind of magnetic eyeliner? You know how they have magnetic paint on the walls? A magnetic eyeliner. You just go in with your magnetic eyeliner and then you take one of these instead of having two to sandwich and it right on the edge of your eyeliner. I think there's something there. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to patent that and make that shit happen. So anyways, thank you for tuning in, Monica and Deidre Ray. Hopefully I'll see you this summer, Monica. We're actually going to be in the hills. We'll try and get together. We're having our family reunion out there. So anyways, love you girls. Have a great day. Peace. And uh, if you guys have tried the magnetic lashes, comment below. Let us know what you think. Or even better, do your own tutorial and link it down below. Because I would love any tips and tricks that I can get on that. Because I need some serious help. Okay? Alright guys, later.